Hi guys. Sorry, I've been a little slow at getting some videos out. I've been spending quite a few days working on this cute color that we got. So we're just trying to deck it out and change it out for the seasons. But I promise we have a lot more coming up soon. So since I was so busy working in that car, but I really wanted to get some other projects done and I had got some of these gorgeous decoupage papers in, I wanted to redo this desk. So we used three papers and put them on here and we will be carrying them in the shop and on the online shop very soon. We're gonna get getting more in. But I wanted to show you how cool this turned out. And then down here we have another piece that we had done up with the decoupage. We have this piece here. I just put it onto a frame and this was just on a clipboard. But it gives you some ideas that you can decoupage just about on anything. So I had two big framed pieces of artwork and I didn't really want to use the artwork so I thought, this is such a huge piece. I love it. How can I fill this? And so all I did is, is painted the front of the glass and I decoupaged a piece of my decoupage paper to the center of it and I used my IOD label ephemera transfer and I really used just one transfer and I just filled in all the way around. It gives you a fun industrial vintage look. So whatever pieces you have hanging around, you can just redo them and totally turn it into a new piece. So on the subject of decoupage, what else could be decoupage? And I thought, oh, I am just on a roll here. So my neighbor the other day had come over and brought me huge bundles of shims. And if you guys don't know what a shim is, so it's really thick on one side and it's really thin on the other and just huge bundles of them. So I should look it up and see how much they actually cost. But since I already had them, I thought I need to use these. So I had all these shims and I thought, what can I do with all these shims? Don't you just love free work? I started thinking about papers I already had and this has gotten my Monaghan papers that I have online. So when you think of fish, you think of, you know, the fish bones where you have the little bone and you have the little slots there. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cute? And what you wanna do first is paint all your shins. So I just painted them all up real quick, all my shins and laid them down, thin sides here and the thicker sides here. And then I took all of the fish, I cut them out, and then I decoupaged them while all the wood was put together. I decoupaged them across the paper and fit them all on here. So the next thing I did was I took a sharp X-Acto and carefully slit between each shim and you can see how I did that here. I just sliced them all apart. I went over to my scroll saw and then I cut each of the pieces out. So if you have a scroll saw and you love doing detail cutting, this is probably no big deal because this wood is not that thick and hard to cut through, but some of the pieces are really pretty fine. So you need to be really, really careful. So what I might do next time is do it on a really heavy cardstock, a chipboard, or maybe even a balsa wood that I could take my X-Acto and cut it out instead of having to go to the saw and do it. After you've got all your pieces cut out, what I did is I took another piece of shim and I just cut it really, really thin with my scroll saw. I just cut, but you could use a dowel, you could use anything you want, but a really, really thin piece and painted that up. And I used my wood glue and I just glued each piece onto it. So now you have this cute little fish and I thought I would love to do all the fish and they all attach in just a fun hanging. I thought this was idea, this idea was really, really cute. So start deck watching and have fun.